Welcome. Today, I wanna to talk about three things that I wish I knew when I first started as a Salesforce consultant. My name is Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotif. So the first is about certifications. We all know that Salesforce certifications are important and most people think that they're critical in order to build trust in clients that you're trying to get as a consultant. Well, this is true for the first or second certification that you get. It's important to have some sort of indicator there that proves you know what you're talking about. But beyond that, clients do not care. The real benefit of getting a Salesforce certification is it builds your confidence in yourself. It's not about the client's confidence in you. It's about the confidence in yourself. When you have those different certifications, you're going to feel better working within somebody's org knowing that you've passed those tests and that you've studied for it. And I actually think that this is the right perspective to have whenever you're studying for future certifications too. If you're just focused on getting a, a stamp of approval in order to sell your services, you're not gonna try that hard to really learn and understand the information. You're just gonna wanna pass the test. But if the point is to get the certification to prove to yourself that you know the information, well, then you're actually gonna be thinking about it long-term, not just cramming to pass one test. And ultimately that's really gonna serve you better and of course your clients better too. The second surprising thing I wish I knew was about meetings and how great they are. People love to hate on meetings, especially standing meetings. They think they tend to be a waste of time and they're always dreaded. But what I found is that actually having a standing weekly meeting with my clients during projects is fantastic. And I haven't found a better alternative to them. Now, originally I tried to do away with meetings, work just asynchronously, or we can hop on the phone whenever something needs to be discussed but it's never worked as well as having a time on the calendar every single week that we can both depend on. The reason for this is it keeps the projects moving forward. We personally will have a deadline every single week. So we have to keep shipping, we have to keep showing progress, which is excellent for those big projects. It does the same thing for our clients. You know, so it's always a team effort. So clients will have deliverables, they'll have things that they need to provide us, and they need to do it within that week. Otherwise, we're gonna keep bringing it up to them in person over and over again. If we don't have that meeting, it's pretty easy to forget about it or you start just following up and touching base and all of that, which doesn't really work out too well. Another reason meetings are so great is that they cut down on ad hoc communication. So if you don't have something on the calendar, you can expect to get a lot of emails as questions pop up. You know, maybe the responses need to be pretty lengthy if they're explanations. But if we always have a meeting just a couple days away, clients will hold on to their questions until we meet in person and we'll just go through them in person. Or if it's a concept that's a little bit too advanced to talk about in an email, well, we can just push that off to the meeting in a day or two as well. And it ends up being a better experience for the client and it really cuts down on email for me. The third surprising thing I wish I knew was to be specific with delivery expectations. So we all know that trying to predict when a particular feature or something is gonna be finished is notoriously difficult. But the thing that you don't know until you've done it a bunch of times is that no one agrees on what finished actually means. So when you're coming up with deliverables, make sure that they're really specific on what that deliverable actually is and what finished actually means. Because you're going to get the question, when will it be done? So clarify what done means. Done might mean the feature is completed in sandbox and just needs final approval to push to production. It might mean it's in production. It might mean that it's in production and the entire team has been trained, or it might mean it's in production, and the entire team has been trained, and we've gone through a series of reviews so we know what to build for the next version. So it's not enough just to give an answer of when something's gonna be done. Make sure it's defined what done actually means and you're on the same page with the client. I'm happy I've learned these lessons along the way, and hopefully they'll save you some time. So remember, certifications after the first couple are for you and for your own confidence. Weekly meetings are fantastic. Start using them and embracing them. And the third one is get specific about what done actually means if you're talking about deliverables. Hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.